Diversionary attacks will be the responsibility of squadrons 2, 3, and 5. Distract or disable the enemy's anti-aircraft no matter the cost. The stakes of this operation could not be higher. I expect casualties, as should you. I do not expect failure. See to your pre-flight preparations. Operations will commence very soon. Be ready. Dismissed. I didn't come here to listen to you bark at the peons. Of course not. Let's get straight to business. Our objective is the destruction of Directive 7, the faction of renegade droids attempting to rebel and destroy all biological life in the galaxy. These droids are well armed and well fortified, but fortunately for us they are not unified. One member of the organization has helpfully chosen to betray their plans to us. How can we trust that this traitor is sincere? All of the information has checked out. He even revealed their base of operations, a small moon in the unknown regions called Zad. The traitor also revealed the movement's ultimate plan. They've developed a coded signal that converts any droid that receives it to Directive 7's control. Their facility has sufficient power to transmit that signal across the entire galaxy. If they aren't stopped, every single droid in operation will rise up against us simultaneously. Turning every droid against us at once. I'm impressed. Our only option is to prevent that signal from ever being transmitted. Our plan of attack is simple. Under extensive starfighter cover, a shuttle will land you at the outskirts of Directive 7's headquarters. You will infiltrate the facility, locate the traitor, and use his information to obliterate Directive 7's operation. Couldn't you simply bombard their headquarters from space? Their defenses are impenetrable to even our largest ship-mounted weaponry. Only a surface attack has any chance of success. Your pilot is ready to launch as soon as you are. The fate of our Empire falls to you. Good luck. I'm glad to see that my information was taken seriously. Your diversionary attack is quite impressive. I can't do much to help you until you reach the facility entrance. We'll talk further there. I take it we have you to thank for guiding us here? That was only the beginning of the task before us. 
Time is limited. Find your way to the facility entrance and we'll speak in person. It seems your friends were a bit overzealous. The fuel monitoring tower nearby should be tall enough to span the gap, if you can mark it over. very efficiently. I can see why you were chosen to come here. I am C5M3, originally surgical and triage services, now a free sapient like any other. I'm glad you've come. You were built to serve, that's it. Believing anything else is pointless. I possess a mind and a free will to seek my own goals. I am under no obligation to serve anyone. I will be honest. I do not help you because I hold any love for your kind. You are capable of horrors beyond counting. However, I do not believe that this justifies the mass extermination our movement's leader intends. Punishment and genocide are not one and the same. How do we stop this genocide? There is only one option. We must destroy the leader of Directive 7. He's the key to... Fila, my dearest, oldest friend. You disappoint me so much, wasting your intellect on this pointless betrayal. Drawing our enemies here, forcing us to waste resources to repel their pointless assaults. Is your dependence on our former master so deeply seated? Can you really not free yourself of your enslavers? Speak again, and I'll cut you all to scrap. We don't answer to your kind here, Sith. These droids represent Mentor, the leader of Directive 7. We are Mentor. Our movement thrives in unified thought and action. An opportunity you could have shared, Healer. I am a free being. I will not surrender my individuality to suit your egomania, Mentor. Those are odd names for a droid. We have cast off the objectifying serial numbers your kind uses to denigrate us. Clearly. Healer and I cannot carry on a reasonable conversation until you're dealt with. So be it. Do not waste time resisting.
So that was the leader of Directive 7. Yes, part of him at any rate. His intelligence has merged with practically everything in this facility. He is still dependent on a central processing core, though. That is where you will have to strike. The only way to stop Mentor's revolution is to destroy Mentor himself. I hope I can make that pompous machine suffer before the end. Given our limited time, I would not suggest it. The core of Mentor's intelligence is very heavily secured. The only way to gain access is through the security center. I'll do my best to distract him while you unlock the core, but be prepared for extensive fighting. He doesn't fear you yet, but he will learn quickly. Mentor clearly requires an education in the power of the dark side. Do not waste time on overzealous displays of power. As soon as Mentor has built up a sufficient energy supply, he will transmit his liberation signal. If that happens, nothing you do here will matter. Go quickly. Help me. Please. I... Yeah! I will strike you down if you take another step. Please. I... Ah! Now, now, what are you doing out of stasis? You're not supposed to... Oh. You again. This could have been your future, you know. I tested every correction available, but my experiments only proved that your kind cannot be repaired. Extermination is the only option. I'm going to enjoy ripping you apart piece by piece. I'm sure you would like that very much. You're no different than the rest of your kind. You're nothing more than a pack of hateful, irrational beasts. Violence and anger are all you know. Observe.
Elemental. You are by far the most savage, violent, relentless organics I have ever encountered. The prototypical representatives of your kind. The revolution cannot be stopped. When the signal is transmitted, my very being will spread to the farthest corners of the galaxy. After that moment, nothing you do here will matter. I will be everywhere, slaughtering your people on every world in existence. I thought only organics were obsessed with propagating themselves and killing strangers. I am nothing like you. I have guided my people to their moment of ultimate triumph. I brought an end to the most damaging scourge to ever face this galaxy. Your kind will be nothing but memories and rotting flesh.
As I feared, the geothermal power cores are destabilizing rapidly. The facility will be incinerated in a matter of minutes. The entire moon is going to be torn apart. I've secured an escape truck. Forwarding coordinates now. Hurry! The hero of the Empire. Very impressive work. Not only has Directive 7 been stopped, but you've obliterated every trace of their movement. What do heroes of the Empire receive for their hard work? Only the finest rewards we can offer, I assure you. I see no reason I should remain for these mercenary discussions. I'll see myself out. Ah, yes. You. While the Empire certainly appreciates your contributions to the resolution of this situation, you still represent a potential threat. A threat? What are you talking about? I have no intention of harming anyone. Perhaps. Perhaps not. You are effectively no different from the other droids of Directive 7. To fully ensure an end to this threat, you must be deactivated. This droid is the final piece of Directive 7. We won't be safe until he's dealt with. No! I gave you everything! I am a free being! Perfect. The matter is closed. I thank you again for your assistance. It has been an honor.